The 1.8 patch for F124 represents a significant update that touches on multiple facets of the game, refining both gameplay mechanics and technical performance. One of the primary areas of focus is multiplayer, which has received much needed enhancements. The introduction of the invites and requests option in the pause menu for single player modes makes managing multiplayer interactions far more intuitive and seamless. This is particularly useful for players who frequently switch between single player and multiplayer modes. Additionally, the patch addresses several bugs that have been frustrating players, such as the issue where options like flying lap and return to garage were unavailable after exiting a multiplayer session. These fixes should result in a smoother and more consistent experience for players who enjoy online racing. Visually, the game sees some thoughtful improvements as well. AI vehicles in modes like the F1 World Series and solo events now sport a broader range of liveries and badges, adding variety and reducing the visual monotony that can sometimes set in during long play sessions. This seemingly small change can significantly enhance the immersive experience, making each race feel unique. Additionally, the shortening of wheel tethers, a detail that might not be immediately obvious to all players, brings a new level of realism to crash simulations. By keeping detached wheels closer to the car, the game now more accurately represents the physics of high-speed collisions, which can make crashes look and feel more authentic. Track adjustments are another critical aspect of this update. For instance, the pit lane speed limit at the Jeddah circuit has been corrected to 80 kph, aligning the game with real-world regulations. This might seem like a minor detail, but for players who strive for realism, such adjustments are crucial. Moreover, the developers have taken steps to address the exploitation of off-track areas in time trials. Previously, some players were able to achieve unrealistically fast times by cutting corners or using off-track shortcuts, but this patch introduces changes that aim to level the playing field and ensure that times recorded in these events are more reflective of actual driving skill. Career mode also benefits from this update, particularly with the addition of a new feature that allows AI teammates to purchase upgrades on the last day of the season if they have sufficient resource points. This change adds an extra layer of strategy to the end of the season, making it more dynamic and unpredictable. It also gives players more to think about when managing their team and resources, as the actions of AI teammates can now have a more tangible impact on the outcome of the season. On the technical side, the patch expands peripheral support, notably adding compatibility for additional Moza Racing wheelbases on Xbox when used with the Moza Racing ES steering wheel. This is particularly good news for sim racers who use specialized hardware as it broadens the range of equipment that can be used with the game. Furthermore, telemetry support has been introduced for the Turtle Beach Velocity 1 race wheel, enhancing the overall experience for players who use this device on Xbox consoles. In addition to these specific changes, the patch addresses a variety of minor but impactful issues. For instance, the True Fan Achievement Trophy which was previously bugged and wouldn't unlock even after meeting the requirements, should now unlock correctly once players accumulate 10,000 fan zone points. Other small but significant fixes include resolving issues with the ERS bar flickering during overtake mode, which had been a source of frustration for players managing their energy deployment during races. Overall, the 1.8 patch for F124 is a comprehensive update that not only fixes bugs and glitches, but also introduces new features and improvements aimed at enhancing the overall gameplay experience. Whether you're a casual player or a hardcore sim racer, these changes are likely to make your time with the game more enjoyable and immersive. So thanks so much for watching, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel, we'll see you in the next video, bye.